Ander was a very, very simple baby. He was born in 1991 with Down syndrome. He immediately went from Windsor to London. He had um, some bowel issues and they had to do surgery on him right away. But uh, growing up, other than his health issues, his heart, his bowel, he was a really easygoing child. He uh, hardly cried, laughed a lot. I don't want to be the typical mom that says, I had the best kid, but I did. One day, Andrew was talking to his cousin. His cousin had recently started college, and Andrew was so excited about hearing everything that his cousin was doing at college. Andrew said to me afterwards, Mom, I really want to go to college. So the whole idea of group hug apparel came about when he said I wanted to save money. Uh, you know what I like doing? What? I love taking your picture, and I love it when you meet people and smile and shake their hands and you know, you put a smile on their face. Yeah, I... I, I like that. Uh, when, I, when I like, um, maybe for, um, I'm gonna take care of uh, my mom. Oh, I like that idea. We always wish that our kids take care of us when we get older. Yeah, we yes. are. Mm -hmm. you know. Andrew had said that he wanted to sell lemonade, but I saw one of his cool drawings. He's a drummer, loves music. You know, always, always playing music and, and listening to uh, different artists and stuff. But he also likes drawing these cool figures. He came up with this stick figure idea of a little guy playing the drums. So I said, Andrew, why don't we take this, put it on t-shirts. Friends and family will support you for sure. It's a cool drawing and he could sell them. And the business took off. The idea was just Andrew experiencing college. He wanted to do things like everybody else does. And then it grew into Andrew wanting to donate to other kids, sick kids, people who are in need. I like to help, pe help, help people. Uh, that should be a hero. Yeah, you are a hero. I'm doing to help sick kids too. Yeah, helping sick kids is important, isn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Have you gone through a lot of health issues growing up? Yeah. Yeah, so it's nice to help people and give back to the community. Andrew has gone through lots and lots and lots of health issues growing up. And spending time in the hospital, you know that it's important to always help others. And when we were there, we saw a lot of kids that were in need. And Andrew kind of experienced that. When you see people who are sick and when you see your own child go through so many different When you see your child go through so many different things in life and you know that your only hope is to find a doctor that can, you know, help your child, then you automatically know that you have to give back. You have to give back and that's something that Andrew has always wanted to do and he's taught me to be a good person that way. I like to be help people. I, I've been doing in my life, I've been doing my, uh, Helping people. Andrew is, you know, he's my daily inspiration. He lets me get up and put a smile on my face because of everything that he has accomplished. He's overcome challenges throughout his life, if it's the health issues again. But even learning in school, we have, um, he learned how to read, he learned how to write, you know, he does simple math. Well, we, uh, she make me laugh and she make me smile, I know. And that's my 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 jelly spirits. It's very happy for her. I'm very happy for him too. Yeah, he has fun doing it. He yeah, really yeah, enjoys yeah. it. He gets to interact with people. He meets new friends. He talks to people all the time. You know, he does the transactions. He you know packages that up for him and uh, sometimes even tags them. Doesn't tag his fingers. Which is good, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he uh, he helps out in his own ways. He loads up the boxes, you know. We get them ready for the mail. 
So I, I enjoy working with you that way. Because you help out a lot. Yeah, I help him a lot with that. He's a big help.